Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase here at Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much for stopping by. So today I have the Get ECU, which is called the RX1 Pro from Athena. Athena is an Italian company. And this one we're talking about today is for the Honda 450L and RL models. If you have one of those bikes, this is a very popular upgrade for those bikes. Don't take my word for it. Go do some research. There's a lot of forums out there. Riders who have those bikes, they talk about before and after with one of these ECs on there. But like I said, I think it's one of the best upgrades that you can make for that bike. And here is why. When companies like Honda are making their bikes for production, they have to meet certain emission requirements. And it's very difficult for them to do that for whether it's the United States and other countries across the world. And make their bikes run as well as they could. Unfortunately, a lot of times what it means you get bikes that are choked down and that just don't run as good as they could because again, they're trying to meet all those regulations. And so in that case, and if you go look at and do the research and read rider forms and see what people are saying, in the case of the 450L and RL model, well, they're just really choked down. Some guys talk about it's pretty jerky with the throttle response off the bottom. They flame out pretty easily. Your bike map might have a hard time starting in colder temperatures, just things like that. And again, it's no fault to Honda and these companies, it's just what they have to do to meet certain regulations. Well, thanks to companies like Athena with the Get ECU, and again, this is the same ECU that the Honda HRC team uses, so Chase Sexton, Jet Lawrence, Hunter Lawrence, those guys, they all won their championships using Get ECUs. What they do is they take a motorcycle like the L or the RL, they put it on a dyno, they don't just look at the stock map and try and tweak it a little bit. I've had a good conversation with Dan Truman at Athena, what they do is they take a bike, they slap it on there, and they start from scratch. And what they do is just go through and they just give you the best running motorcycle possible from zero RPM all the way through the power curve. So they're just trying to optimize your air fuel mixture ratio and get that to where you've got a nice, smooth, and responsive power delivery all the way through the power curve. And so again, if you have the, R, the L or the RL model, and you feel like it's just not very smooth off the bottom, if you feel like it is choked up or if it flames out easily, this is built to help address that. Now, is this for everybody? I don't think so. If you have one of these bikes and you feel like it runs good enough for you and you're not that worried about it, then save yourself the money. I wouldn't tell you to go buy this just because, but for riders that have experienced those issues, you go, again, read those forums, they talk about how this will help solve a lot of those. So that's what they do is they just completely remap the bike. Now what's cool though, is that in that process, there's some other cool functionality features you get with the ECU. So we talked about that, but not only do you get the ECU, when you buy the RX1 Pro, you will also get a Wi-Fi comm box. And now this is gonna plug directly into the ECU. And by the way, when it comes to install for these, it is simple. It's literally just direct plug and play. You can't screw it up. You can, with the connectors on here, the way they are, male and female, you can't plug these into the wrong thing on your motorcycle. So don't worry about the install, it's very simple. A lot of bikes will come with bike specific brackets to get these installed as well. But you just unplug your stock ECU, bolt this on, you're good to go. But you will also get their Wi-Fi comm box. Now, a lot of us are familiar with the Yamaha Power Tuner app and how Yamahas will have that Wi-Fi box already installed from the manufacturer. This is basically giving you that same functionality. To now, when you have this installed, you go onto your phone, there's an app from Get that is free, you just download it. Once you've done that, you go in, you connect it to this box, and there's a little LED light on here that will flash when you have a Wi-Fi signal. But once you're connected, you can go in, you can see diagnostics of your motorcycle, you can see your ride time, but you also have the ability to create your own maps, which I think is really cool. So if you wanna go in and kinda of tinker with it and create some other maps for your motorcycle, you can do that right from your phone, upload it to the ECU, but hey, if you ever get lost, not quite sure what's going on, you can always just default right back to the, the stock maps that come preloaded on this unit. Now, another cool little feature as well, when you buy this, it will come with two maps preloaded, ready to go, and you will get a map switch for your handlebars, for map one, map two. Map one is just gonna be from zero to full power delivery. It's gonna give you a nice, smooth, but snappy response all the way through so your motorcycle is running fantastic. But then there is a second map. And this, I need to talk about this switch real quick before I talk about that second map. So Get has what they call their Get Power Assist or GPA. And they sell this switch, this is sold separately, but you notice that there's actually 10 levels on here. So what Get Power Assist is, is when you're riding, 
So your ECU has got all these different sensors on your motorcycle that's collecting data to dictate how your bike's gonna run, right? Well, you have your throttle position sensor, you have your RPM sensor, and what happens is that if you're out riding, let's say you're on a slick road, you're doing some more technical riding and it's slippery, well, if you're at, say, a little more than quarter throttle and you get an RPM spike, well, that's basically telling your motorcycle, hey, the rear tire is losing traction, and that's why you're getting this RPM spike. So then the Get Power Assist, what that does, it will retard the timing and a few other things, and it will slow that down to help get traction back to the ground from the rear wheel. Now, with the switch, if you install this, it gives you 10 levels of that Get Power Assist. Zero is completely off, but if you want the most help possible in slippery conditions, crank it up to 10. So what MAP2 is, MAP2 is the same power delivery as MAP1, but with about level five of the Get Power Assist already turned on. So that way you know exactly how it's gonna run, but if you wanna experiment with MAP2 and see what that Get Power Assist does in those conditions and you like it, then you could go by this switch, which again, just have a little hole right here so you can find the best place to mount this, but you install this, and not only do you get the gap power assist, but you have 10 levels that you can mess around with, find out which one's gonna be best for you. If you wanna be simplistic, and you just wanna plug this in and go, you can do that. It's gonna work with aftermarket exhaust, but if you are saying, you know what, I don't really need or want the functionality of the Wi-Fi com box, I'm not worried about the app or trying to create my own maps, I just wanna be able to go ride, you don't have to have this plugged in it's not going to change the way your bike runs with the ECU installed. Same thing goes for the map switch. If you're not worried about trying to switch in between maps while riding or, you know, just depending on the condition you're going to be in, you don't have to have that installed either. And if you don't have the handlebar switch installed, it, your bike will just always default to map one that is already pre-installed on the ECU. Now, that being said, remember, if you don't have the handlebar switch installed, but you have the Wi-Fi com box, well, you can still create your own map. So if you wanted to stop, get your phone out and throw a different map on the ECU, you still are able to do that through the Wi-Fi com box, even if you don't have the handlebar switch installed. So it's going to come down to rider preference, what's going to be best for you. But ultimately, again, with the 450L and the RL models, those bikes, they just really don't run to their full potential. Again, go read forums, see what people are saying. But if you wish your bike ran better, if you wish you had a little bit more power, better power delivery, if it's flaming out easy, all of the above, then this could be a really good upgrade for you. Don't take my word for it, read rider reviews. And if you have one of these on a Honda 450 LRL, I would love to hear your feedback. Well, how did your bike run before and after? That's really gonna help other riders out that are looking to possibly pull the trigger on one of these. If you have questions, comments, though, please leave those down below. To grab one, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. We ship for free or 75 bucks. And just make sure when you're on the product page for this, enter the year, make, and model of the bike that you're shopping for to ensure that you get the proper ECU for your bike. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please, if you haven't yet, Rocky Mountain is the best place to go to for product videos like you just watched. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.